Hi, I'm James with OneHourSmartHome.com and today what we're going to do is show you how to set up your Amazon Echo Dot Gen 3 or your Amazon Alexa, your Echo Dot. And uh, maybe you got one of these for Christmas. The very first thing that you're going to do is you're just going to plug in the device, okay? And if you haven't already done so, you're going to need to download the Amazon Alexa app from the iOS store or Google Home. Uh, or Google Play Store, and then you're gonna be able to set this thing up. So you can do this even if you don't have an existing Amazon account. If you do have an Amazon account, you're just gonna sign in to Alexa using your Amazon login and password, and you are good to go. If you don't have an Amazon account, it doesn't require any kind of credit card or anything like that. You just create one real quick with your email address and uh, create a password, and you're good to go. So uh, we've got our device here, it's blinking blue. We're gonna to have to wait for it to turn yellow. I don't know if you heard that, but it's uh, setting up. Okay, so we're gonna have to wait for it to turn. Your device is ready for setup. Just follow the instructions in your Alexa app. There we go, orange or yellow, this blinking ring, that means it's ready to set up. I don't know if you heard it, but it did say it was ready to set up. So we go over here onto that, we click on devices in the lower right hand corner, we click on that, and it's gonna say add a device. So to add a device, tap plus to add a new Alexa or smart home device. And we're just gonna click up here, the plus symbol up at the top. We're gonna to click add a device right here. And then it shows us all the different devices that you can connect. So you can connect all kinds of smart home devices, uh, smart lights, smart plugs, smart light switches, hubs, cameras, thermostats, locks, security systems, vacuum cleaner, I didn't even know that. So you're gonna be able to set those up. We're gonna click on Amazon Echo here at the top and uh, it's gonna allow us to choose what we've got. So we've got an Echo Dot here, but there's different Echo devices that you can set up. So we're gonna click on Echo Dot, which is one of the most common uh, things. Maybe you got one of these for uh, Christmas, Hanukkah, whatever you celebrate, the holidays, maybe you got one and uh, you just wanna set this up. So third generation, that's the latest generation. Unless you're getting one of these used, you have most likely a third generation. It can either have that little clock on it or no clock. So we're gonna click on the top one there. It says, is your Echo Dot plugged in and displaying an orange light? Yes, it absolutely is. Once your Echo Dot is plugged in, the light will turn orange and after about a minute. Okay, so yeah, it did turn orange after about a minute. So I'm gonna click yes. Okay, our device popped up. You have to have your Bluetooth network on on your phone in order for this to set up. So we're gonna click on Echo right here. And then we're gonna slick, select our uh, Wi-Fi network in order to get this set up. So I'm just gonna click on the Wi-Fi network. I can't show you the password, but we'll get this set up in no time. So, all right, it's just uh, entering the Wi-Fi password information. And let's see, hopefully I got the right Wi-Fi password. You know, it's one of those things you don't put it in that often, so you hope that you get it right. It says connecting to your Echo Dot to Wi-Fi. So, all right, that was super quick. Your device is ready. Okay, so now our Echo Dot is connected to Wi-Fi. It says tap to continue. Uh, to begin customizing your experience. So it's kind of like, uh, oh, tap continue to begin customizing your experience. I thought it was like weird syntax there, but it's really not. So we're gonna click continue. Where is your Echo Dot? We're just gonna call this bedroom and we're gonna continue. Now, what do we have here? It is going to start setting up on the phone. It says, welcome to Echo Dot. We'll watch this video. Uh, let's see what it does here. You probably can't hear anything here. Use your voice to check the news. Well, it's got, uh, you know, closed caption there at the bottom so you can see what's going on. We're just gonna skip through this. Um, but basically there's all kinds of stuff that you can do. I recommend you watch it when you uh, go through yours. And, oh, nope, we don't get a choice. We're gonna have to watch it till the end. So there we go. It says, welcome to Echo Dot. The short video will walk you through some basics of getting started. Um, we're gonna click continue. It says, Amazon Music, play any song, just ask $3.99 a month. 
$3.99 a month. What I will say is that if you have an uh, Alexa account, you've already got uh, Amazon Music uh, included, so you don't really need to worry about that. Mm -hmm. But if you don't, you're gonna have to pay for this. The Amazon uh, Music with a Prime membership, it's really pretty good. Uh, there's not really any songs that I've ever wanted that I couldn't have with Amazon Music. So if you have Prime membership already, Huge benefit, makes the Alexa way more functional, so I'm gonna say no thanks there. Um, all done. Would you like Alexa to recognize your voice so she can personalize your experience? Create a voice profile now. You are ready to start talking to Alexa. You can always visit things to try in the menu to repeat this guide or learn more about things that you can say. So I'm gonna say, uh, okay. Plus, oh, create a voice profile now. We might as well do that so you, um, people can see that. Uh, we're going to say begin. We're going to do this. And let's get started. I think I have all the other devices muted. So within the next few five minutes, Alexa is now ready. Mute all other nearby devices. Talk in a quiet place. Get within one to five feet of your device. Ask Alexa, learn my voice, and then follow the instructions. That's kind of neat. So we're going to say, Alexa, learn my voice. Okay, I found a few profiles from this account. If you hear your name, just say yes. Is this one smart pharmacist? No. Oh, yes. Make a profile with your name. Download the Alexa app. <laughs> I was like, well, that's not my name. <laughs> but it was, it's the name of the uh, username that we put in here. So, Alexa. Learn my voice. All right. I found a few profiles from this account. If you hear your name, just say yes. Is this one smart pharmacist? <laughs> yes. Okay. I'll just ask you to say four phrases so I can learn to recognize your voice. Ready? We're about to begin. First up, say, Alexa, what's the temperature outside? Alexa, what's the temperature outside? Great. Now say, Alexa, play music. Alexa, play music. Next, Alexa, turn off the light. Alexa, turn off the light. And one more, Alexa, add milk to my shopping list. Alexa, add milk to my shopping list. Okay, you're good to go. One's my pharmacist. It's great to put a name to the voice. I've sent information about your voice profile to the Alexa app. Okay, so it uh, must be all ready. We've got it set up now. It's learned my voice. Um, okay, it says Alexa trouble recognizing you. We already did that. Oops, I'm gonna mute her for a minute. Do you want her to recognize more voices? So um, you could have other family members learn the voice, which is good. Uh, you should probably do that if you've got multiple people in your home just to make it as accurate as possible. I did realize uh, my wife didn't have her voice recognized in the app and Alexa would like never respond to her. She thought Alexa was just very mean and uh, impartial and didn't really wanna be her friend. So it's important to make sure that you get the other people in uh, your house to also uh, have Alexa voice recognition added so that it works uh, well. And we're just gonna go to We'll just click out of this. We'll go to go to home. And uh, now you can see that uh, Alexa is on here. If we were to click devices, it's gonna show um, our device here, bedroom. That's the uh, Echo Dot. It's showing it right there. And then there's all kinds of settings you can go into here and change around um, on your uh, Alexa. So I'll just give you kind of like a preview of a couple things that you can do with Alexa. Alexa, what's the weather in Chicago? Currently, in Chicago, it's 28 degrees Fahrenheit with clear skies. Tonight, you can expect cold temperatures with a low of 20 degrees. Wow, it's pretty cold here in Chicago. Uh, Alexa, who plays Thursday night football? Alexa, what football game is on tonight? Raiders will play later today at 7.20 p.m. against the Chargers. Currently, 
The Louisiana Lafayette Legion Cajun football team are leading the Coastal Carolina Santa Fe football team 14 to 0. Currently, the South Florida Bulls football team are tied with the Temple Owls football team 0 to 0. So that's kind of neat. You can, you know, ask it sports, ask it weather, all kinds of questions. Uh, Alexa, who is the president of Sweden? The prime minister of Sweden is Stefan Löfven. Alexa, where is the world's tallest building? The Burj Khalifa is located in Dubai. So, you know, there's all kinds of stuff you can ask Alexa. Um, you can, I'm going to mute this. You can control your smart home devices with it. You can ask it questions. You can play music, which is probably one of my favorite things. Um, obviously on YouTube, it's hard for us to play music because of copyright stuff. So we can't really do that too much, but, um, it is a great little device. Uh, a lot of people are going to probably get these for Christmas. And, uh, you know, it's a nice, if you're looking to pick up a gift for a student or a kid or something like that. A lot of people really like these because, you know, then you've got uh, something to play music on. It's actually not a bad speaker. Um, it can definitely play enough music for a small bedroom or a dorm room or something like that. You've got all the capability and then they can start adding smart home devices like smart plugs or smart light bulbs or smart light switches or smart thermostat to it to start their smart home or start controlling items with their voice. So. Let's say you've got somebody living in a dorm room or uh, you know, a kid or whatever, you could get them an Alexa Echo Dot and then maybe a smart plug. We'll put a link to a smart plug below and then they can control their nightstand or whatever light they have in the room. And it's really nice to be able at the end of the day, just be like, Alexa, turn off the lights. It's kind of like magic and something I highly recommend. So thanks again for watching. Please like this video, subscribe to this channel. If you want to help us out, click on the links below or visit us at onehoursmarthome.com. Sign up for our email list and all kinds of cool stuff we got there. And we'll help you learn about smart homes and everything that you can do with them. So thanks again, and we'll see you next time.